We brought Steve in for a couple of days um, to look at the UGR's concept, Unwritten Ground Rules concept. Um, our company, most of our guys are on the road at any given time and culture is uh, very precious to us. Um, the challenge being most of our people are away a lot of the time. I'd heard of Steve Simpson uh, and I'd heard of the concept of UGR's and uh, we, we brought him in. Um, he spent two days with us and uh, the change has been pretty incredible actually. Um, I guess all of the stuff underneath, just uh, when we were thinking things were really, really good, um, unwritten ground rules suggest that everything is not as it seemed. And it, it gave everybody the opportunity to put things out on the table uh, and for us as leaders to say, wow, there's, uh, there's, there's things we've got to do here. So UGO has very much now become part of our language and the first time we, we noticed that was about two days after the, uh, the UGO's workshop. We had some external trainers come in. Uh, at the end of a fairly emotionally charged and, and cognitively challenging week, um, quite frankly, our guys for the last session played up. Um, they were, to my mind, disrespectful to the trainer. They were uh, actually in a fairly childish mode. Um, towards the end of that session, two of our people actually stood up, and not people in a leadership position, and they just called the process. And they said, guys, I'm wondering what UGRs are actually operating right now that's uh, leading us to behave in these ways. Um, after a little bit of stunned silence, we started making our way through that too. Um, and, and literally we grew from that experience and we were able to go to the trainer and have a very straightforward conversation and still come out of that respectful and having grown somewhat. Um, that has now um, permeated into everyday language in the organisation. If something's going on, the process is, is now called. Uh, it usually goes something along the lines of, I'm wondering what the EGRs are that, that are driving this particular uh, event or, or set of behaviours. And um, to me, it's just increased tra transparency in the organisation to, to a massive degree. The EGRs, for me, the, the main uh, advantage is, is transparency. Rather than saying we have a wonderful culture, um, and uh, I think most organisations would like it to be that way, and yet if you really talk to their people, um, about what's going on down deep. Um, often a different story emerges. UGRs is a tool that brings that forward in respectful, uh, mutually respectful ways uh, and safe ways. And to me, the, the organisations that are brave enough and uh, serious, enough, uh, serious enough about a great culture, uh, UGRs is, is, is a magnificent tool to, to assist that. Um, we are incredibly serious about our culture and to me it does take courage from, from both leaders and, and teams to actually uh, be prepared to sit and, and genuinely hear and see what, what people feel and experience about the organisation. Uh, we believe uh, we're not completely there yet, but UGRs is a tool we believe will, will assist uh, us to being world class, quite literally world class in our culture. Well, it's interesting, we, uh, we get a little bit nervous when we bring speakers in. Uh, our people are very uh, highly trained, great speakers themselves, and so we've had experiences where speakers come in and to be frank, they're a little disappointing. Um, Steve came in and, and no such challenge. Uh, he is a magnificent speaker. Um, the thing that I was most impressed with was with his level of engagement and investment in, in our organisation. It was clear from the outset um, that he was really there for us and, and to assist us, not, uh, not a consultant just out there to make money. He was actually really invested in, in changing our culture or assisting us with the changes we wanted to make. Um, his speaking skills are fantastic. He facilitated a challenging group, um, a group of predominantly psychologists who uh, really know what they're doing. They're, they're very, very good facilitators. Um, he, he managed uh, an emotionally charged couple of days with, with ease, with mutual respect, while calling the process in, in fairly straightforward. We, we didn't get away with anything, and we didn't want to get away with anything. But sometimes that's uncomfortable. And he managed to, uh, to weave his way through those two days with uh, considerable skill. What Steve did a really great job of was to, number one, first uh, at a very generic level explain the concept of UGRs and then he just uh, tested the water with some sort of fairly generic UGRs that I, I guess would be true of most organisations. I think then most people saw that was a safe process and even to the point where people were now so hooked in, so interested in the process, um, they, they felt a degree of not just safety but, but curiosity. So then Steve just took it to the next level and he invited people to identify their own UGRs. And uh, I was sitting in the room as a leader thinking, oh, I'm not too sure that uh, there'll be that many. Um, 
30 people, we ended up with maybe 120 UGRs that actually came from that whole group. So in other words, it told me people understood the concept, they felt very safe and familiar with the concept, and really just opened right up. And it was that level of transparency and courage from our people that, uh, that really impressed me. And, and Steve facilitated that process just beautifully. Absolutely no doubt, in fact I already do. Um, I guess the one clause I've got is only uh, bring UGRs in if you're serious about making changes in your culture. If you're not, um, I think very clearly UGRs, you, your people will see through that and think it's just uh, some sort of quick fix or um, fake intervention by leadership. If leaders uh, of an organisation are really serious about wanting a, a wonderful culture, um, UGRs is the way to go. And the, the more courageous and the more transparent leaders in the organisation are willing to be, the better the outcome, for sure. I, I would recommend it highly.